Call Halo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High, name his only begotten Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. Shout out to 144,000. And real quick, I want to touch on this image right here that you see on the screen. One of the brothers in the camp, uh, the brother Yakal, his channel was Built to Prevail Ba. Um, he made, he, you know, he, 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 he makes these pictures, you know, these images with, um, the AI thing, you know, and it's art. Okay. So with the AI thing, you know, you could, you know, pretty much put in certain things to, to get a particular image and, you know, it, 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 you know, the AI can only do so much. All right. Um, you know, this is the man, this man in the middle is supposed to be how shy, supposed to have gray hair. Also, you know, the fringes. You know, supposed to have a border of blue, but you can only do so much with the AI. But these images are important. Okay, these images are important because it um you know it uh it illustrates you know to to a certain degree you know what we are um uh, hoping and 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 what our faith is. All right, and the ultimate goal of being in this truth is salvation. Okay, the ultimate goal of being in this truth is salvation. And um, with an image like this, you know, it, it, it makes you, you know, uh, think and, and, you know, meditate on salvation. All right. And, I, and when I say images are important, I want to, you know, bring out the fact that Esau, you know, he came with that image of uh, white Jesus or right, Césaire Borgia. That image has destroyed our people's mind. OK, to this day, to this day, Jake is still lost behind that image. OK, and, and the things that came with it. So in these last days. Lord is putting a new image in the earth. The truth is starting to be declared in the earth. And that's what this is. But I want to grab a few scriptures just touching on, you know, what we see right here and how it lines up with uh, prophecy. OK. And these scriptures. All right. First off, let me grab this right here. It says, um, this is, um, Psalms. <clears throat> Psalms chapter 37, verse 39. It says, but the salvation of righteousness is of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. He is their strength in the time of trouble. All right, and we know that we're coming into a time of trouble. We know that America is prophesied to be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles. We know that this place is coming to an end. You know, it's going to be hell and high water here. And another thing I want to say about the image is, um, you know, there, there should be more fire. All right, there should be more fire, but that's no fault to, to the brother. You know, you know, it's a computer generated. AI generated, so uh, what you get is what you get, and we can make the, the, you know, we try to make the best of it, you know, so, hey, and the water to that brother for making these, you know, these images, man, okay, to inspire, all right, but it says, um, bring that back, but the salvation, which means to be saved, the whole point of this thing is to be saved, you can come into this truth, and, you know, a lot of people come into this truth, and they fall out, they get weak, you know, they give in, you know, they, they, they uh, they, they throw in a towel, but the whole point is that we endure until the end that we might be saved. It says, but the salvation of the righteousness is of the Lord, Yahweh. He is their strength in a time of trouble. And like I said, we are coming into a time of trouble. All right. And our hopes is to be delivered from that time of trouble. You know, from that, that, that final plague, which is thermonuclear annihilation. And there's going to be many other plagues. But that final plague, we, we hope to be delivered. Okay. Up and uh, up until that, those, those last plagues, it says, and the Lord Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we need to be delivered from the wicked, which is Esau, and save us from the destruction that's coming upon this place, man. Okay? Let me grab this too. All right. It says, um. <clears throat> Uh, bust a lucky bear on me, and this is all through the spirit. So, I just had a scripture that came to my mind. Let me see. Good, beautiful. Yep, this is um, Job chapter 5, verse 18. It says, For he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth, and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. So in six troubles, 
you know, it's going to be a lot of plagues coming upon this world. You know, those plagues are, 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 are those troubles are those plagues. And it says, and in, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. So in that seventh trouble, that final plague, which is thermonuclear annihilation, you know, we don't want to get consumed in that fire. You 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 don't you don't you don't want, you don't want to feel that fire. All right. It says, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You see, and this is what we're going to need in this time that we're coming into. We want the Lord to to redeem us. It says, and this is why we do this, all right? This is why we do this. It's not, you know, to, to, to you know, gain some type of fame or notoriety here. No, it's really to, you get, you know, to get the hell up out of here. It says, thou shalt, in hopes that we get the hell up out of here. It says, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be of the, be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. And this destruction is coming, all right? And we don't want to be afraid. You know, we want to be of a sound mind. It says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So that's our, our um, uh, let me grab this. So I can so many scriptures coming to my mind. I don't have a lot of time, but I just want to grab these as the spirit jump on me. Um, let me grab this right here. It says, um, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 10. For this saith the Lord, Yahweh, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you and causing you to return to this place. For I knew, so like for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And our expected end is that we be saved. That's the whole goal. And this thing is to be saved, to get salvation, right? It says, then shall the, that ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And that's us we calling upon Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? We ain't calling upon Christ and all that other stuff, man. It says, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. So if you're searching for Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai with all your heart, you know, your mind and spirit, man, hey, hey you're going to find Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai if it be his will. It says, And I will be found of you, saith. The Lord Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you and gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you. We were scattered in slavery, saith Yahweh, and I will bring you again into the place whence I called you to be carried away captive, because ye have said, The Lord Yahweh hath raised us up prophets in Babylon, which is the name of the camp. All right, so here we are in Babylon, America. Modern day ba Babylon is just America. And we're prophesying the destruction of this place, the end of this place, man, in hopes that we can be delivered, the whole the hopes that, you know, the Lord can have mercy upon us and our families. All right, let's grab this real quick. <clears throat> it says, um, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. It says, verse 13, it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So, the, hey, we got to endure. You know, like I said, you got men that come into this thing and fall out, that get weak, that throw in the towel. No, you, it's not about how you come in. It's about how you um, end, you know, how you, you know, um, endure. We have to endure. We have to continue to fight. And it's, and it's going to be a fight. You know, every day, is, you know, the, the spirits are getting stronger. You know, these demons are amping up, you know, it's, it, you know, it's getting, you know, the flesh is getting weaker. Okay, so, you know, it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So you brothers that are preaching the gospel, man, keep preaching, keep pushing, man. Okay, because the end is coming. All right. The end is coming. It's coming soon, sooner than we can ever imagine. All right. Let me grab this right here. <clears throat> this is um This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 20. It says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, which is the chariots. Um, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. 
until the indignation be overpassed and indignation is righteous anger and the lord is righteously angry with, with this place and he's about to destroy this place so it says hide thyself as it were for a little moment until this indignation be overpassed for behold the lord yahweh Bahashim Yahushai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity or their sins. All right, people are wicked. All right, we live in a very wicked and perverse world. It says, The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So a lot of people are about to die. A lot of people are about to lose their lives. And in that, we, we, got, we hope and pray that the Lord can have mercy upon us and deliver us. You know, that he keep us in, in, in these times that we're coming into, man. All right, and he delivers us, and we know it's possible if we continue to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in truth and sincerity, if we endure unto the end, all right, if we be the elect, okay, we hope to be a part of that number, all right, um, let me grab this too, and this is why I said I wish it was more fire, but you know, hey, you know, you can only get so, so much, and hey, the waterfall for what we do have, Revelation chapter 15, verse 2. Let me go to verse one. It says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels, heaven, the seven last plagues. All right. So that's those that destruction that's coming for in them is filled up the wrath of the most high. So this is we, we, we about to witness the wrath of the most high in truth and sincerity. OK, <laughs> people think they know the wrath of the Lord. Well, you won't know it until you, until you in it and you see it. And we're about to see it. Now we know now we know the prophecies of what's saying it's saying to happen. But we are about to witness these things with our own eyes. Scripture says, Only with thine eyes shall thou see the reward of the wicked. And we're going to see a lot of people die. A lot of people, scripture says, um roughly paraphrasing ten thousand at, 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 at thy a thousand at thy left and a ten thousand at thy right, roughly paraphrasing. People people are going to be dropping. Okay. People are going to be, you know, going back into the going going into the upper room. Like no tomorrow. Verse two, and I saw as if as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, which is, you know, the the the, 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 the outer atmosphere, you know, because because the, the whole thing is that we're going to be in these chairs going to want to get beamed up into these ships. And, you know, simultaneously, as these missiles are coming, you want to get beamed up and be delivered, you know, from the destruction that's coming. Scripture says, as birds flying shall the Lord defend Jerusalem. So the Lord's going to come with these ships and, you know, in a formation as birds flying, and he's going to beam up his elect when this fire comes, when these nukes are coming. And you, your, your whole heart's desire is that you, that you don't get caught up in that fire. All right. It says, and I saw as it were a glass of fire, me, as it was a sea of glass mingled with fire, which is how it's going to look from, you know, a bird's eye view of the destruction of America. America is going to be completely consumed in fire. It says in them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the most high. OK, so they're going to be standing above the, the, the atmosphere. Watching this place be destroyed, you know, the men, of the Lord, the elect, the ones who are who are delivered are going to be standing up above the earth, watching this place be destroyed, man. OK. And they have gotten over the victory over the image and uh, and over his mark. So you're not going to take the MOTB. You're not going to bow down to this B system. OK, and the Lord is going to deliver us. And that's what, our, you know, what we hope for. And we can be a part of that number. That's what this is all about. At the end of the day. All right. Let me, um, let me grab this real quick. All right. This, this, this is what this is all about. It says, uh, first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50, it says, now this, I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. So now all of us are going to die. Not everybody here in America, America is going to die, man. They say, oh, well, we know we tell you nukes is coming. They say, well, what are you going to do? Well, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. All right. Serving Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to the best of our ability. All right. In hopes that we don't die with the rest of these people and that we can be changed because we got to be changed to go into these chariots. We're going to get new bodies. All right. You can't go into these chariots with, uh, you know, these mortal bodies, man. We have to be changed. So we're so so we're going to be renewed. It says in the moment, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. 
and we shall be changed. You see, we want to be raised incorruptible. OK, and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. We about to be made immortals. OK. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. And that's the whole goal is that we don't die here. But we could be delivered, you know. So, like I said, everybody in America is not going to die. Some, you know, a remnant is going to be saved from this destruction that's coming. It says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Therefore, my brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You see? Always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And we're not doing this for nothing, man. Okay, not for nothing. We're not doing this for nothing. All right. Everything that we're doing is in hopes that we can be delivered and saved, man. You know, and we do it to the best of our ability, but we want to get it right. We want to make sure that it's on it's on point, you know, because this is what matters in the end. All right. Is that we can be delivered, that we can be saved, that we can be. The Lord can have mercy upon us, man, and, and, and our families. You know, you brothers that have children, you know, you, you want the Lord to deliver you and your children. OK, <laughs> so, hey, pray, 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 pray and continue to fight, man. Continue to fight. Whatever said, I'm going to say, Shalom, I'm coming, Shalom, I love, Baba, Baba, praise, let's be edifying to the hopeful elect. Shalom.